Hey everyone, I wanted to go over how you can use smart plugs like these with your Blue Eddy device and one or many batteries to protect your Blue Eddy device for long-term storage. So in my case, I have this AC300. It's one of two that I have. I've had this unit for about two, two and a half years. And then when I bought the AC500, um, I really don't use this AC300 anymore. The AC500 took everything over. So if this uh, AC300 sits for a long time and I have batteries that sit with it, I can maintain them using smart plugs because we already know that when you accidentally drain a Blue Eddy battery to 0% or it sits there longer past 0%, the head unit may not recognize it. You may have to recover the battery for the head unit to uh, use it in the future. So how do we prevent this battery from either A, getting damaged, or B, having issues with the head unit? And that's where we can use these smart plugs. So first off, we have a Sonoff plug. I love these. I have about 30 to 40 of these in my home. They work great with my smart home automation system uh, because you have the option to flash them for local control. And then I have uh, some of these Emporias too. Uh, they can also be flashed. It's a little bit more of a difficult process, but their app works great and it has cloud in integration where I can set schedules. And that's really what the key is, is I set schedules uh, with the smart plugs to automatically charge and power my Blue Eddy system. So let's go off to the floor here and you'll see that I already have an Emporia plug plugged in for charging this AC300 system. Now, right now the AC300 system's off. I have off to the side, you can see I have the battery is connected. Once again, I can have one or many batteries, but this unit is just sitting, let's just say in storage. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna show you how to set this up uh, with the Emporia. Once again, it's, it's fairly similar with the Sonoff or any other smart plug. You just need to have the ability to set a schedule. So right now we're gonna say that this plug uh, has a schedule, okay? Even though I'm gonna turn it on manually just to show you how this works. We can see that the uh, Emporia right now has a purple pinkish light. That means it's connected to uh, Wi-Fi for cloud integration, but right now it's actually not sending power to, uh, let's say this plug right now to power the AC300. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Okay, you're gonna see that turns blue and then we're gonna see the battery automatically came on and then a second later, the head unit's gonna come on. So let's go ahead and zoom in real quick. So right now the state of charge for my system is 43%, okay? So what's gonna happen is the grid's automatically gonna start pulling. You can see right there, I'm already pulling. And that's because of the settings I have in my Blue Eddy. The uh, way this is going to work is it's important how you configure your Blue Eddy for this to automatically work. So I'm gonna go over that in the next steps on how to configure your Emporia how to configure the settings in your um, Blue Eddy so that when this Emporia turns off, because let's say I set a schedule that says every, every week for 15 minutes, turn on and send power to this unit. Well, then once the schedule for this shuts off, okay, let's just simulate that right now, okay? And sometimes you'll get an alarm for a second, but that alarm will clear, it's just basically lost grid, okay? My unit's still on, but obviously there's no grid, there's nothing coming in, I have no loads, obviously the system's still on. Well, the wonderful thing is if you set the settings right in this Blue Eddy device, uh, because there's no power coming in, this thing is just automatically gonna shut itself off. So you can set a nice little schedule that says, turn on, trickle charge this, and then once the schedule's done, turn off, and then the Blue Eddy is going to go, oh, I have nothing coming in. I have nothing going out. Why stay on? And it's going to shut itself off. This is a great way to maintain a battery for long-term storage. So in the next section, let's go over the settings of the Emporia and how to configure the Blue Eddy for this to work.
Okay guys, we are now in the Emporia app and you can see I have a few devices here. Right in the middle, we're gonna have one called Blue Eddy Storage Charging. That's just what I named this device that we're using. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna set up a schedule for this Emporia uh, plug to automatically turn on, let it charge the system, and then shut off after uh, a certain amount of time. So to do that, we're gonna go to the menu in the top left corner. We're going to go down to manage and set up devices and then obviously we want to choose the device we want to manage so that's going to be our blue eddy storage charging so click on that obviously you see in here that we have some settings we can change um, we don't really need to change anything for this except for schedules we want to create one and then for this we want to create a custom schedule so first we want to add a schedule on when is the um, smart plug going to turn on so let's click add schedule and then we can kind of keep it at that 6 a.m. right now. Like every day at 6 a.m. is fine for me. And then it's going to automatically turn the plug on as soon as I say I want to do this every day at 6 a.m. and turn on. It's going to show you that this is the action. So don't be surprised that the Emporia uh, switch is automatically going to turn on. Click on OK on that. And how often do we want this to repeat? For testing purposes, just so I can make sure it works and I can check it every day, uh, I'm going to do it every day. But you might say, hey, I only want to do this every Monday. But for me right now, for testing, we're going to do this every day. And then what action do we want it to take? We want it to switch on. So what's uh, displayed there is exactly what we need. So we're going to go ahead and hit click back. And obviously, it's created that schedule. You'll see the little green tick next to it, the little toggle button. That just means it's enabled the schedule, which is great. That's exactly what we want. Next, we want to create another schedule by clicking Add Schedule. And this time, we want to set the schedule for shutting it off. So before we turn it on at 6 AM, we're going to want to turn it off, let's say, 6.15. Let it charge for 15 minutes. Go ahead and click Save. And then we want to say repeat. Once again, if I'm telling it to turn on every day, I need to tell it to turn off every day. Otherwise, it's not going to. So we're going to keep the, the settings as they are. Click Save. And then we're going to say, what is our action? Well, our action is not turning on. We want to turn it off this time. So once again, as soon as I hit Save here, what's going to happen is it's going to send that command to your Emporia, Emporia device to test that this is what you want. So once again, don't be shocked. It's going to turn off. So click on Save. OK. Now. Uh, the Emporia switch has turned off and obviously we're going to click OK and then we're going to hit back and then now we have our schedule for it to switch on every day at 6 a.m. and run for 15 minutes and then automatically uh, turn off the smart plug at 6.15 uh, a.m. every day. That's it. That's all you need to set up. As long as your plug has uh, Wi-Fi uh, connectivity, it's going to connect to the Emporia Cloud, and the Emporia Cloud is going to make uh, going to control your plug for you. So next, let's go into how you configure the Blue Eddy device to work with this. Okay, so now that we have this Emporia switch scheduled through the cloud to come on at 6 a.m. and run for 15 minutes and shut off we now need to configure the blue eddy now what's going to happen is when the emporia shuts off the power to this black cord that goes all the way up into my blue eddy the blue eddy is basically going to not detect any power in the grid so basically no power coming into here now, in order for this to work properly, we also have to change some other settings, but there's also one more element too. There could be no solar coming in. So when you go to store your Blue Eddy, make sure that there's no solar panels connected to this, only the grid through this smart switch, okay? Because if you continue to have solar coming in, the uh, Blue Eddy device is automatically gonna turn on as soon as it sees power coming in. Second thing is make sure you have no loads, okay? So nothing plugging, plugged into here because if the Blue Eddy sees a certain amount of power coming through here, it knows it's servicing uh, devices and it's going to stay online. So when nothing comes in and nothing goes out, the Blue Eddy is pretty much going to make a decision to shut itself off. However, it'll only do that is if your state of charge is under the SOC low setting. So what we want to do to make this work is go into settings, we want to hit next, and then for working mode here, let's go ahead and go into that. We want to select customize UPS. It's going to ask if you want to enable that. 
We want to say yes. And you can see here are some of my settings first off. I do have grid charge status enabled. I do not have time control status enabled. So that is disabled. Uh, so we don't have to worry about the time settings inside of here. But the SOC settings are the important thing here. So what I want to show you guys is the battery state was around 40% for my battery right now. And my SOC low and SOC high, excuse me, are 70 and 75. So that means that because the battery is set to 40, when I get grid, the system's gonna say, no, 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 you told me to keep a minimum of 70. It's going to start pulling the power from this uh, cord if there's power available, okay? That's key item number one. The second item that's key to this is when the grid shuts off and the battery is under that 70%, that's when the Blue Eddy is going to say, is anything coming in? Is anything going out? So I'm not servicing anything. I'm not charging my battery. Because I'm under the SOC low, that 70%, I'm going to shut myself off after, let's say, an hour or two if I continue to see no activity. Okay, so that's the trick to get your Blue Eddy to shut itself off. So what I would recommend here is a relatively high number. I mean, you can even go higher than this, but you don't want to actually charge your unit to this, okay? So when you enable your smart plug to run, let's say, for 15 minutes, make sure that 15 minutes is not enough to get you to this number for your battery state of charge. Uh, if you're only going to run it once a week, maybe 15 minutes is fine, but you're really going to have to play with your settings depending on how many batteries you have. Because if you have two, three, four, five batteries, running this for 15 minutes, let's say at five amps, um, you know, you're really not going to probably fill up all your batteries. But if you have one battery, you might actually fill this one up pretty quickly. Uh, that's one other thing I should mention because it just uh, dawned on me that I didn't mention this earlier. These smart plugs do have a limit, okay? Even though they're, they're set up to connect to a 15 amp plug, don't run 15 amps through them. I would highly recommend that 10 amps or less. And honestly, because you're trickle charging these things, do a low level of amperage. And I'll show you where to set that in uh, the AC300. So we're gonna go back. Okay, so when you're, actually I'll go all the way to home just to show you guys where I go for this. So I go settings, I go next, and you see it says max grid input current, okay? This is its limiter. Now, if you go to basic mode, it's only gonna allow you to go one through 15 amps because it's gonna support the typical 15 amp plug. I have mine set right now to only pull at five amps, okay? If you wanna do even a slower trickle charge, just do two amps. So just remember two amps is basically two times 120 volts, which is your 240 watts it's gonna charge at. So you could do something as low as that, okay? and save that, and now it's gonna only pull two, uh, I'm sorry, two amps from this plug. So make sure not to overdo it. So let's zoom out here real quick, and you can see once again, we're using some smart plugs with a schedule set to run every day. You may wanna eventually just do this once a week. The battery is hooked up to the Blue Eddy, so the Blue Eddy is automatically going to turn on as soon as that smart plug uh, sends power. It's going to charge as long as, let me zoom back in, your battery is under the SOC low, which once again is going to charge because it's under that 70. And as long as the battery stays under that 70, when we lose power, so this turns off, the Blue Eddy will turn itself off after a couple of hours. So this is basically, once again, how I will put my batteries or put my Blue Eddies in long-term storage and maintain the health of the Blue Eddy battery. So I hope this helps, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, if I need to go in more depth with this, definitely let me know. But these are, once again, the two plugs I would recommend. Sonoff, this is the Sonoff S31. And then these are the Emporia Smart uh, Outlets. Both of them have energy monitoring, so you can look in the app to actually see how much power this is pulling, when it's pulling. Uh, and also, it, during this whole setup, you can actually leave the um, Wi-Fi set up. I actually do have that in here. So if you look at, uh, I'm sorry, not data, settings, next, next. 
I have my Wi-Fi uh, set up. So that means I can still use the Blue ID app to once in a while just check to see what the last known battery percentage is. Because every time this turns on, Wi-Fi is going to connect. And if you have it set up with the Blue ID app, it's going to report that information back. All right, guys, let's put this all together and let me show you how it all looks. So once again, this is going to be set to 70, 75 for my SOC low to SOC high. Uh, I have nothing coming in for solar. The only thing that's connected is the grid cable down to my smart switch. My smart, excuse me, my smart switch has been scheduled to run at 6 a.m. for 15 minutes and then turn off at 6.15. Now, during this quick test that we're going to run through, I'm obviously just going to turn that on manually. But you'll see how the system turns on and it'll start charging. So right now, obviously the AC300 with the Bluetti B300K is completely shut off. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on. On the Emporia, there is a uh, button off here on the side. So we're just going to click that. You can see it turned blue. Okay. And see right off the bat, the battery came online and there comes the head unit. So it's going to take a second. Let's zoom in. Okay, so you can see the grid up there is kind of trickling those dots. It's ready to text the power. And because we have it limited to two amps, I had said it was going to be around 240 volts. Uh, relatively, it's trying to find that number, let's say that. So right now it is trickle charging at about 200. Let's just say it's a range of 220 to 270, okay? So that'll run for about 15 minutes on that plug. Emporia Cloud will then instruct this switch to shut itself automatically off. Let's just simulate that right now, okay? So right now we're at 43%. Obviously, we didn't change anything because we didn't charge it long enough. So let's turn this off. Once again, sometimes you will get this alarm, okay? And this will usually go away. This is because it lost uh, power. If it doesn't go away, it's okay. But as you can see, the alarm went away. The screen timed out on me. It didn't shut off that quickly. Okay, so there is no alarm. So basically, it just lost the grid. It's complaining about that. And then the alarm clears. So now the Blue Addy will stay on. I'm going to say, if I remember correctly, one to two hours. All right, guys, it is much later than one hour. I did check one hour later, uh, the system was actually still on, but unfortunately I had to run out. So uh, it is about four hours later now and sometime between that one hour and four hours, this unit has shut itself off just to show you it's off. And then obviously there's no power light uh, on the battery or the head unit. So the Emporia is on standby and let's say sometime tomorrow, this thing will kick on at 6 a.m., run for 15 minutes, uh, Emporia will shut off and sometime within one to four hours I know the system will shut itself off as well so hope this helps you guys with keeping your batteries charged while in storage and protecting your investment